Mike, most people I talked to said they heard a, a boom shortly before the fire started. They said it sounded something like firecrackers or a gunshot, and hearing that noise caused some of them to act fast. I come out my back balcony and look down, and uh, I mean, it was blazing. Jeff Casperson lives in an apartment complex on Dogwood Lane in Redding. It backs right up to where Thursday morning's fire broke out. Casperson said he called 911, but knew he had to do something to keep the flames from spreading while they waited for crews to get there. So I went to the two fire extinguishers and busted them out and ran down there because I didn't want, uh, I got a little boy. I didn't want it to come up here any further. He told me all he could think about was protecting his home and his neighborhood. A lot of kids in this building and just, I didn't want it to come up here and it was moving fast. Many of Casperson's neighbors, including Paul Nolan, heard a loud boom shortly before the fire started. I'm thinking it could have been a firecracker or a gunshot or something like that. So um, I know something caused it, though, and there was a bang right before it. Nolan said at first he didn't think too much of it. 20, 25 minutes later, because um, I went back to watching TV, we see smoke out the back. He said it worries him that fires tend to start in the canyon behind his complex. Yeah, would you, like me to go ahead and you might remember one burned 25 acres last June in the same area. Sometimes I'm gone and just my dog's here, and I, you know, like I think, well, what would happen if the apartment burnt down? And yeah, it's really scary. The fire was contained by 1030. The cause of it, though, is still under investigation. Live in the newsroom, Chelsea Kay, KRCR News Channel 7. Thank you, Chelsea. Another